it's Presley at ActiveGames.com here, and today we're going to be doing with something, something. There's a flower, a spoon, and there's a, I almost said a mask, a lighter, a candle, and this thingy, Bob. That's right. So, we're talking about the engines, mm -hmm. and explosions, and things like that, and then also some of the biology stuff we were talking about. This is a little experiment that kind of uh, touches on a little bit of that. So, um, like you said, we have some flour here, just, yes. you know, regular organic flour. flour and what do you think happens if I try and set this on fire? Something. Work. Thank you. Not much. Yeah. Right? Doesn't work. Okay. I didn't expect flour to be lightable anyway. You didn't? <laughs> so, uh, what we're going to do now is we like light this candle. Of course, because it's beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to take the same flour that we tried to set on fire. Yes. I'm going to put it in this funnel. Okay. Okay? I will put it. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You're not going to block it. Okay. So now I have a little funnel. Yes. Uh, tape onto the little surgical tubing. Mm -hmm. And then. Surgical. Yeah. Or this is a rubber tube that was out of the garage. So I'm going to blow into this. It's and going to it's going to puff. Kaboom. It's going to puff up the flour. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen? Kaboom. You think? Okay. Kind of. Let's watch and see. Not really. Okay. It's just kind of gonna go. We'll make this the uh, uh, do not try this at home. Yes. Too. Right. Okay. You ready? Ooh. More fire. Let's so. My hardcore math book. Wait. One more. Wait. Uh, oh. Blew it out. So that was the exact same flour mm -hmm. that we tried to set on fire in the spoon, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't burn. But what happened when I blew it to the funnel? It burned. Why? It Why do you think it burned when I hit it that way instead of not when you put it down? I don't know. It's interesting, huh? Yes. So what it has well, to do? I'll the table now. Uh, yeah, we'll clean it up. What it has to do with biology is I was just going to see if you remember this. Um, when there's something in your body whose job is to absorb stuff, like absorb nutrients or things like that. What did Hank Green say was the most important thing about that, that part of your body that it needed to have? Like your lungs, where you're absorbing air, mm -hmm. or absorbing oxygen and putting it into your blood, or your, your uh, intestines, where you're taking the nutrients out of food and stuff. Mm -hmm. What's really important that those things have? A lot of what? You remember? Like they have the little cilia, Energy. the little cilia and stuff. Yeah. They have because it increases what? You remember? No. No? Surface area. Uh, I was like, surface area? No, I'm like, that's not right. It is surface area, right? So, uh -huh. you know, it's like. You I know, thought like surface area, surface tension. Like, no, yeah, yeah surface area, right. right? So, like, the table here has a, you know, a lot of surface area, and you can make it all wrinkly and fold it up and make it in a small area that had the same surface area. And that's kind of what's going on in a lot of places inside your body, is there's lots of folds and things. And, you know, the surface area. For, well, you can't it, actually fold the table. Yeah, not the table. Not actually the table, right? But the surface area uh, is what it uses to absorb things, right? So the more surface area it has, the more it can absorb. And in this case, like I still smell burning. I do too. You need oxygen um, for things to burn, right? We'll do a little study on how fire works too later. But you need oxygen for things to burn. And when the flour is sitting in a pile, like when it's sitting in the spoon, it's all compacted and only kind of the outside surface area is available and has oxygen touching it. So it doesn't burn very well. But when you turn it into a dust cloud and you sort of aerate it, then each tiny little piece of flour, the entire surface area is available and oxygen is touching it. And so now it can burn. And, and the one next to it can burn. And the one next to it can burn. And all of those little bitty molecules of flour can poof, burn. So why... Would I show you this, uh, the flour mixing with air and making a mist and <laughs> having like a violent reaction? Number one, because we're studying explosions right now. We're studying explosions like in general. Stuff. Well, no, so where, where specifically are we studying explosions where we've talked about some like an air fuel mixture being kind of explosive? Engines. In an engine, right? I want to do this again. So this is the same thing that's happening in the engine that the air is coming through 
and it's mixing with the gasoline and it's making a fine mist not of flour. gasoline, not flour, right? It's gas in this case, <laughs> but it's making a fine mist of air and gas so that there's a lot of surface area for the flame Can to catch into. What happens again? And then it whoosh, does that. Yeah, of course. Okay. You want to try and blow through it? Okay. Hey. <laughs> Wait till I get it lit. And lean back, please. Here, let me get you some more. Okay. There's like no flour in here. Put all of it in there. <laughs> Good. Oh. Try again. <gasps> you did it. Yeah. Good job. So that happens. This was. <laughs> This was just a little experiment to show you how in a carburetor, in the lawnmower engine that we're working on, uh, in the carburetor the air and, and gasoline mix together and make kind of a fine mist like this. And then what's happening here is that it's not contained, so it just kind of, you know, kind of flares out, right? Yeah. But if you took that same thing and you compressed it into a tight little ball and it held it, kaboom. when you did that, it would go kaboom, oh. right? Because... Like you see when it. It go kaboom if it's in a spoon, though. No, 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 no. But like it, here, when it flares out, it goes and it takes up a lot more space, right? It gets bigger as it gets hotter, right? And if you were had it in a container that was trying to hold it, like the piston chamber, mm -hmm. then when it tries to get bigger, the piston chamber is holding it in and place. And it's on fire too, so it goes kaboom. And it, it pushes the piston down because mm -hmm. it's trying to take up more room, so it boom, pushes the chamber down, mm -hmm. and then the piston comes back up and gets all the smoke out of there, and then pulls in more, compresses it, boom, does it again. I want to see if I can light the candle. I know how to work on it. And it just does it over. It's just hard to do. It just does it over and over and over and over again. Okay? Okay. Cool. So that's what I wanted to show you today for a quick little vlog. And we'll talk more when we get into the, once we take the engine apart and you get into the piston chamber and the carburetor, we'll look a little bit at how this works inside the engine. Okay? Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. I don't want to like this, I know how to do it.